السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الله غافلا عما يعمل الظالمون إنما يؤخرهم ليوم تشخص فيه الأبصار It's a very sad day in parliament today. This year, when we came back to the parliament, many of the members took their oath with the constitution in hand. That was to protect the constitution, to imply that the constitution is supreme and it has to be protected. But today, we see that this government is blatantly going against the constitution. This bill is just not against the constitution, it's against federalism, it's against uh, a religious minority, it is against This used to be a city in Ukraine. Marinka is, or was, a city near Donetsk in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine. It used to be home to around 10,000 people. It's been contested by Ukrainian forces and Russian-backed paramilitaries since war broke out in the region in 2014. But new photos and footage show that the city has been practically wiped off the map since Russia launched its full invasion of Ukraine last year. The city is completely destroyed. So Multiple landslides triggered by torrential rains in southern India have killed more than 150 people. The Indian Air Force conducted rescue operations as crews on the ground worked feverishly to search for dozens still missing in the southern state of Kerala. Cars, houses and even entire roads were swept away by torrents of muddy flood water. Here's a timeline of French bans affecting Muslims in the past two decades. Since 2004, children have been prohibited from wearing any religious symbols, including the hijab, in public schools. Only university students can do so. In 2010, the French parliament banned full-face veils in public. Those who do not adhere to this rule are slapped with a 150 euro fine. In 2021, French authorities implemented a law they claimed aims to combat Islamic separatism, resulting in the closure of dozens of mosques, schools and Muslim organizations. In 2022, Muslim women were prohibited from wearing a swimsuit called the burkini in public swimming pools. In June 2023, another French court ruled that female soccer players cannot wear the hijab in official competitions. Two months later, the French education minister announced that abayas, a type of dress mostly worn by Muslim women, would be banned from public schools. Pahle ahalan Modi aur phir mandir ka swapna sakar karne mein अगर सबसे बड़ा सहयोग किसी का है तो मेरे ब्रदर हिजायनेस शेख मोहम्मद बिन जायद का 
Now, Gujarat is battling nature's fury. Torrential rainfall has flooded smart cities like Ahmedabad and Jamnagar. The SDRF, uh, NDRF army, as well as the naval forces are all carrying out rescue operations in the worst hit areas of Gujarat. Thousands of people have already been rescued and relocated to emergency camps. We give you a detailed report on that. Deluge and Devastation Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Huzur's reply and divine warning received from Allah Almighty on 17th August 2024 around 9.30 p.m. Mauritius time Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the aftermath of a message from one of his disciples informing him about the following news. Indian Waqf Board is managing all the Waqf properties of Muslims all over India. At present, values of Waqf Board properties are third largest property holder in all over India. The Muslim ancestors have donated many properties as waqf for the sake of Allah. The present BJP government want to interfere and change some rules in the waqf board so that they can do whatever they want with the Muslim's properties. They failed and was not able to pass this bill in the parliament but they are still trying may allah almighty protect those properties from the enemies of islam and accept the real purpose of those properties done for waqf by our ancestors inshallah ameen the Khalifatullah al mahdi Hazrat Munir Ahmed Azim Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nazri Laziz has received some important messages from Allah on 17th August 2024 around 9.30 p.m. Mauritius time and shared them in this way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Concerning all these matters, Allah reveals this to me. More and more things will happen to the Muslims and also to humanity around the world. Very painfully and fearlessly will those people, that is the enemies of Islam, continue to persecute the Muslims and will restrict them from recognizing the unicity of Allah and accept the divine savior that is his prophet and divine revelation and message this will continue more and more destruction will occur in the future again and again and again it will be very very painful and sad we will pray a lot for them but if they will not change and turn to the right path and accept the divine message and revelation and the prophet of Allah, they will continue to suffer more and more. The Arab countries are not aware of this and they still bow at the feet of the wrongdoers and encourage them and are themselves encouraged to build great temples full of very expensive idols, the so-called gods, to please creatures. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went through many persecutions and trials to spread the divine message and the unicity of Allah and to make the barbarous people understand to pray only one God and he destroyed all the idols found in Kaaba Sharif. He made the flag of 
ला इलाहा इल्लल्लाह रेस्ड वेरी हाई अल्लाह रेस्ड द ग्रेट प्रोफेट इन एन अरब कंट्री अरेबिया द रेवलेशन इज इन अरेबिक द होली कुरान इज इन अरेबिक काबा शरीफ इज इन एन अरब कंट्री अरेबिया आई कैन गो लाइक दिस हाउ मेनी डिवाइन ब्लेसिंग्स द अरब कंट्रीज हैव बीन ब्लेस्ड विद एंड वेयर बाय दे हैव बीन एनरिच्ड that is become very rich due to these blessings from allah now we see they have trampled all the divine teachings to dust name is muslim but they do not have the true teachings of islam in them their brothers and sisters in islam are suffering a lot in the hand of the parawas of this era but they don't care there are only many show offs and i wash shame shame they help other big countries and spend a lot of money a big temple is built in an arab country and they welcome the pharaohs the great enemies of islam on the red carpet inshallah the time will come and all people around the world will witness how my rab will destroy this temple and all the pharaohs of this era they will witness how the divine punishment will destroy these rich and arrogant arab leaders of those arab countries wait and see i am waiting together with you oh my dear and lovely brothers and sisters and children in islam who are suffering today This suffering will not be eternal believe me the savior is here among you and allah listens and accepts his prayers day and night i am coming for all humanity and to the umma of my beloved father and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't worry only i request you to listen to my message and don't turn your back to my divine message and don't doubt my message i am the messenger of allah wait and you will see oh my lovely brothers and sisters and children all of you are the creatures of only one god and we are brothers wait and see don't put your trust in creatures put your full trust in your creator and inshallah you will see how diamonds will cut diamonds inshallah allahu akbar the day is near don't worry allah and his angels are with his kalifatullah wassalam allah hafiz